<laughs> Who the heck is that? It better not be Jehovah's Witnesses. Sophia. Hi, Caleb. Come on in, Sophia. I'm actually happy that you're here. Don't mind the mess. What brings you here to my luxurious studio apartment? Hey, don't make fun of your apartment. I like it. I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd stop by to see how you're doing. Thanks. I'm fine and doing okay. Yourself? Feeling wonderful. How's your job at Burger Universe? It's going good. I've made a few wonderful friends there and it's great. My boss even likes me and he really appreciates my work there. How about your studies in school? They're also going good. I study during breaks at work, when I come home and on the weekends. That's awesome Caleb. I'm happy that you're doing so good for yourself. How's things with you, Bill and the kids? <sighs> Wonderful as always. I enjoy being a stay-at-home mom for now, but I'm thinking of getting myself into something else. I've been taking home study courses in nursing and would love to pursue that. That's terrific sister. I'm so happy that things are going so well for you. Bill is such a wonderful man. He and I are so much in love with each other still. And he's great with the kids. I also have some good news of my own. I actually have a girlfriend that I've been seeing for about a month. Really Caleb? That's great. Her name's Michelle. I met her through a couple of guys that I work with at Burger Universe. Wow, that's so awesome. She's so sweet and down to earth. I really like her a lot. Really? Does she work at Burger Universe too? No, she doesn't. She works at the 7-Eleven on the corner. But she's also in school as well. She's studying to become a social worker. She goes to the State University as she got a full scholarship to attend there when she graduated high school. Wow, that's so awesome that she's doing that. I bet she'll make a good one. What about you? What are you hoping for in your studies at the community college? I'm kind of in between right now. I've been majoring in education, but also, been studying theater as well. I don't know what I'll become, but I'm still young and there's plenty of time. I guess, but don't hesitate too long. I'm hoping that you'll make the right choice as I'll always have faith in you. You're a smart guy and I know you'll make the right decision one day. Have you heard about Charles Hansen? You know, the elder who molested you when you were 14. Yes. I heard in the news that he's serving prison time for molesting other kids from our Kingdom Hall. I heard that he's going to serve a long time in prison. I was shocked to learn that I wasn't his only victim. He even molested his own daughter, Darlena, and a few other girls. He almost tried to make a play for you, but I stopped him. Remember? Of course. The elders wouldn't do anything, but simply said to leave it in Jehovah's hands. But I went to the police and turned him in. My reward was getting shunned by the rest of the congregation. You were so brave. I admire you for that. It took bravery and guts. Most young girls in the cult would be afraid to do what you did. I only did what I knew was the right thing to do. It hurt being shunned, but it got better. Thanks to Bill, his family, and even our non-JW grandparents. Thank God for them. It's amazing that you came this far and are feeling much better and happier about yourself even after all of that happened. It's a process Caleb. Healing one day at a time and enjoying life one day at a time. I'm surprised too. I never thought I'd enjoy being married after being molested and treated like I was a little plaything for that perverted elder. But Bill, he made me see how beautiful it can be. Do you still think about mom? Yes Caleb, always. I feel so sorry for her as she's taking all of those antidepressants and has been in and out of the local mental ward several times. Though she won't talk to me, I still love her and hope that one day, she'll break free from the cult like we did. I'd even help her. I would have her move in with me and Bill. It's a shame that she has never met her grandchildren. She probably never will. What about Dad? I really don't think much about him anymore. He's been a terrible alcoholic since that failed Ponzi scheme and becoming an elder. He was such a wonderful, kind and caring man before all of that. Each time he comes to my mind, tears start coming out of my eyes, but I put him out of my head and I feel better shortly afterwards. 
He's become such a tyrant that I really don't know who he is anymore. I know exactly what you mean. I feel the same pain and sadness as well. But my co-workers, my other friends and now my girlfriend Michelle bring comfort and make me feel accepted and liked. It's because you're such a sweet guy Caleb. You've become a better man than dad has become. I'm not just saying these things because I'm your sister. I really mean everything I say. I know you do. For some reason, the other day I thought about that time dad coughed me. Playing that violent video game. Do you remember what he did? Oh yeah. That was an awesome video game too. He beat your rear end with his thick leather belt. I remember you cried a lot for a long time that day. You had to lie down on your bed rather than sit because your butt hurt for a week. Yeah, I know. I also remember how he almost came at you when you turned Charles Hansen over to the police. He was really angry that you did that and almost tried to do that same thing to you. I know. Mom tried to talk some sense into him, but he wound up slapping her heart across her face and continued coming at me. I ran out of the house and into the arms of a neighbor who heard dad yelling at the top of his voice and even had his wife phone the police. It's a wonder that dad didn't get arrested and thrown in jail for that. But that pervert is where he belongs and I hope that he rots in there. After he leaves prison, I know one thing, he'll still be highly regarded in the congregation even though he did these terrible things to you and those other girls within our congregation. I know and it's disgusting. Fortunately for us we made it out and both of us are not only happier, but doing well for ourselves. Yup. Well, maybe one day, you can meet Michelle. I've been talking to her about you a lot. She'd love to meet you. That would be great. I'd love to meet her too. She seems nice. Maybe one day Bill and the kids can meet her as well. That also would be great. I think Bill and the kids would love that. Oh my, look at the time. I have to get home. Bill will be home soon and I need to get things ready for him and the kids. Thanks for stopping by Sophia. This was nice. Yeah, it was nice to catch up. You continue to take care of yourself and stay in touch, okay? I will. What a great sister.